In Noify, you don't only have the ability to track financial data, but also the ability to manage project schedules and assign them to users. By opening the scheduling module, you will be pulled to what Noify calls the corporate calendar. To start scheduling a job, you can click on a day of the month and then type in the name of the job and select the corresponding phase that you would like to schedule. Once the phase is selected, you can choose what the first and last day your company will be working on this phase will be. You also have the ability to just select the start date and then enter the total number of days to complete this in either calendar or business days as needed. Once submitted, this phase will show up in the corporate calendar so you can see what jobs your company plans on getting to on each day. You can add as many jobs and phases to the corporate calendar as you need so that Noify can serve as a place where you can view which jobs you're working on on which days and make adjustments as necessary. Once the dates are set for each of our phases in the corporate calendar, if we need to assign our employees to work on the phase, we can open up Noify's job board. By clicking job board at the top of the screen, we'll get another view of these same dates and we'll be able to see a list of our Noify resources on the left hand side of the screen. To schedule a resource, click their name and you can select multiple if you need. And when you select different employees, you can select full time on the phase you'd like to schedule them on and it'll automatically assign them to this phase so that when they open up their smartphone app, it shows them what they're supposed to be working on and when. If you need to remove a resource from a specific day, you can click on that highlighted day in their schedule and it'll no longer show up as something that they're scheduled to work on. You can click it again to re-add it to the schedule, and each block will show what days they're expected to work on this. You also have the ability to zoom in and out of this job board view, so you can see more dates at a time. And if you need to get more specific than just scheduling your resources to work all day on a job, you can select the custom time scheduling feature instead of full time to specify which time of day you would like the employees to show up to start and finish their day at this job site. This also allows you to include scheduling notes which would be visible on the smartphone app and you can check the box to automatically send the notification of the scheduling change to each of these users. Once this allocation has been saved, it will automatically email everyone associated with this allocation and it will send a push notification directly to their phone from the Noify smartphone app. You can also view and manage employee schedules on a day-by-day -day basis. If you click where it says Resource Day at the top of the screen, you can select an employee, and you'll have the ability to view what they're supposed to be scheduled on on that day, and you can adjust the schedule, add things, and remove things from the schedule as needed. If you do prefer to see schedules at the employee level as opposed to viewing it at the job level, you can ask Noify support to enable the resource board instead of the job board. The resource board still allows you to view schedules on a one or two week basis, but instead of assigning employees to jobs, you'll be able to assign jobs directly to the employee. You'll grab a job on the left hand side of the screen and you can see which employees have openings on each day. You can click that day to schedule the employee on that job. This still allows for custom time scheduling so you can be more specific when assigning employees to each job than just the overall day. If you need, you can also schedule multiple days at a time using this tool. When you select the employee and the day, under start date and end date, you could choose a later date than the same one that's been initially selected. And again, you always have the ability to select specific times of the day. And you'll see that this spreads across multiple days on the calendar. You can also click on any of these allocations to make an adjustment as necessary. This is also where you'll have the ability to delete something from the schedule as needed. If we click where it says two weeks at the top of the screen, we can zoom out and see more of the schedule all at once here. This resource board view is a great way to just check all of your employees and make sure that someone's scheduled on something at any point in time. Anytime you see a blank day, simply select that blank spot. Make sure that they have a job added to the schedule, and the resource board will make sure that everyone is scheduled to work on something each day.